Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you okay? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Fine, thanks. First up. Okay. Uh, first of all, while well, we're in the transfer window, um, we don't deal with speculation, so do you want to actually tell us what's happening? <laughs> uh, really Arguably you know more than me, but here we go. What do you want to know about? Um, the Porto midfielder, defensive midfielder, Gianelli and Bueller. Interest? Or? There's lots of names getting banded around, but uh, that's one of them. Um, we've... Top and bottom of it, it's like we always say, we're interested in good players. Uh, we've got a good group, strong senior group with a lot of uh, good senior players, so the, the need to, to go in the market maybe isn't as strong as maybe other teams at this moment are, are feeling. Uh, it needs to be for us, so uh, um, there isn't an urgency to go in the market, I, w I would say, but uh, as always, if good players become available, we'll, we'll have an interest. What, what do you expect realistically? I mean, would you, if, 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 for say, you, you could spend now, or the chairman said, or you know, you can wait till next summer or whatever, and then and progress. What would you rather do? It's dependent on what's available and which player really. If they're the right quality and they can come in and make a, a big difference to the latter part of the season, then we will seriously consider it. But if if it's a means of if it's a player that we think has got potential, then sometimes. You have the option to get them through the door, give them six months to, to get acquainted, and then next year you you push them on and, and hope they have an impact for you. So, so it's different circumstances for, for different levels of players, really. Um, we're not looking for guys that will fill the squad because we've got, as I said, we've got a really strong squad anyway, so we don't need to, to look for squad fillers, for want of a better phrase. So we really we're just looking for, for top quality to, to improve us. What about players looking to go out? I mean, look at John Waters at the minute. I mean, he came on and scored against the Albion last week, and you know he's playing well when he's called upon. But he's going to need to start if he's going to want. Yeah, you know, this this Euros for him is going to be. A, a well, yeah, I arm. think there's. I think a lot of people will, um, are experienced this. That players. I mean, John's not a case in point because John's very much part of what we're doing. He's just signed a new contract, so there's no issue there. He's. He's obviously a big player for us, so he'll get game time, so there's no, no worry there. Um, but when you hear speculation about players that they need to be playing because of European Championships, you, you can understand that because uh, it's a big thing on the horizon, but uh, at the end of the day, that's not my priority. It's, it's about making sure we're strong and we have the right players for almost every eventuality because you can never predict how the season's going to progress. So. Um, you need to be strong to try and cover every eventuality. If you start lending players out because they want game time because they've got a European Championship, that would be the the wrong the wrong situation really to, to get involved in. It's it, it has to be a win win situation where if you do allow players out then they get good game time and and they'll feel good about the summer. But it has to be a win for us that we benefit in terms of yeah, we get game time into players that haven't had a lot of football, but uh, a lot of things have to fall in place before that happens. We understand that the clubs have inquired about Peter Crouch, either for loan or. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that would be true to say. Uh, I think some of them uh, flag it up and actually name names. I don't think that's uh, uh, correct, to be perfectly honest, but um, I haven't had any direct conversation with any manager uh, in regard to Peter. Obviously they go, agents and representatives go by a lot of middlemen eventually come to people that can make a decision. But uh, Peter's one that we, w we want to keep here. Um, he's, he's not long signed a new contract, so uh, played a part, came on in midweek, so uh, we still feel he's, he's very much part of what we're doing. Has he intimated to you that no. he wants to go and be a Leeds man? Or? Hasn't hasn't said anything of the kind, no. What about the contract situation with Marco Matovic? Um, well, it is where, where it was uh, just before Christmas, I think. Uh, as with all negotiations, um, usually agents and people representing players they go in high, we go in low, and then somewhere in the future we we come to a middle ground and and it gets done. So that's all. That's what's happening in 
in terms of Marco's situation. We were having negotiations. Sometimes they take longer than others, um, but as always, we're, we're very hopeful that um, Marco will will be big part of what we're doing moving forward. I, I think that's what he, he would like. Um, but negotiations are ongoing. That's as much as I can say. I'm very honest with you. <laughs> with you description there, but uh, is that helpful? Is it, is it not unsettling sometimes? Do you not think? I don't know, it's just a process. I, I think uh, we'd be naive to think that that's not what, what goes on. So um, it's about, in the end, getting to a point where everybody's happy and uh, comfortable with uh, what's on offer and, and the player signs and you get on with it. So we're just going through that process. We, we go through that process with every renegotiation that we have. So uh, nothing significant in, in terms of Marco's Position at the moment, it's, it's just a process that uh, is ongoing. Before I pass you over to my colleagues, can I just ask you what you think about Pep Guardiola coming to the Premier League in, in, in some team or another at the start of next season? It's a little bit early to be talking about him six months possibly before even he gets to these shows. I'm sure when he does get here, you guys will be talking enough about him so you, you don't have to start six months earlier, to be perfectly honest. That's but, a good but answer, though. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? Uh, I don't know. More than that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Um, Pep Guardiola. Uh, I've played uh, teams against his teams, and uh, I think the last time that happened, actually won at the new camp with Man City. So uh, I've got good memories of going up against him. Hopefully. When we go up against them again, if he does come to these shows, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get positive results against him. Perfect. Cheers, Mark. <laughs> Mark okay. um, ahead of this weekend's game, there's always a lot of talk about FA Cup games and, and squad rotation, and as you were saying earlier about players getting game time, but is that perhaps not the case for you this weekend, just because you want to see a bit more from players that played in the last couple of games? Um, no, we'll make changes. I think it's fair to say that. Uh, we're honest enough. Um, to flag that up, but um, as I just alluded to, we, we've got a really strong senior squad, uh, lots of senior players uh, within the 25 that we can pick from, and um, and I will make changes. Um, there'll be a lot of players that haven't had too much game time, that they will be involved, absolutely. Um, but I think you'll find when the selection is made and when I make the, my decisions come the weekend, almost every one of them will be a full international. So it's not as if we're, we're chucking in five or six kids to see how they, they go and see if they can deal with an FA Cup tie uh, away from home. We will be strong, we'll make changes, but we'll still be strong. What's your relationship like with Darren? How far back do you go? Well, we played early in his career. Uh, I was still at Man United when he, when he broke through. He had uh, a number of games, I think. At the beginning of one season, so uh, I did okay. He's had a great career as a player and, and certainly as a manager. Uh, really made his mark, but uh, that shouldn't surprise you given his pedigree. So uh, he's he's doing well again. He's obviously gone to Doncaster and, and made an impact on them. They've improved, so it's it's not an easy tie for us. They've been playing well, haven't they? You mm -hmm. presume you've had a little luck then, but I mean, yeah, yeah, we we're, we're acquainting ourselves with obviously the the way they like to go and and the individuals within the their squad, uh, guys that we need to be aware of, so um, that process is, is ongoing as we speak, so we've, we've got a, obviously um, a team meeting tomorrow where we'll speak to the guys uh, about what they, they're going to face and, and the problems that uh, Doncaster are likely to, to try uh, to affect us with. So um, yeah, we've, we've got another 24 hours, obviously our focus this week up to uh, Tuesday night was was on the League Cup side, but uh, very quickly it's shifted to the FA Cup. Squad fit? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, we've uh, we've had a lot of games, but um, everybody's come through uh, well. I think there's only um, there's probably only the guys that haven't had the, the regular run of games. Uh, I haven't had a lot of football. Stevie, Stevie Ireland's a little bit tight uh, in his uh, in his hamstring today after training, so we'll have to check on him. Phil. Bardsley uh, has been a little bit sore in his groin, so he hasn't trained today, but we expect him to train tomorrow. Um, apart from that, Jeff Cameron just went over on his ankle as well, so that's a little bit sore, so that he's probably a little bit of a doubt, I could say, for the weekend. But apart from that, everybody else should be OK. And just one final one for you. People often say the January window has a, has a bit of a premium in terms of prices, but 
I think perhaps with all the, the TV money that's going to come in this summer, that might not actually be the case. If you fancy someone in the summer, if you can get it done in January, you, you might actually save a bit of money. Yeah, possibly. Uh, every deal's different. Uh, it's dependent on the player himself, the player's representatives, first and foremost, the club that he's at at any given time. So some clubs are easier to deal with than others. So a lot of factors have to come in together. And, Sometimes it makes sense to do the business in January. Other times you think, well, you better, you better off keeping your powder dry and waiting for the summer when it's less, seems less frenetic and um, more more desperate sometimes uh, for some people. So uh, um, we're calm. Our situation is calm. We're, we're doing okay. Uh, as I said, if we need to go in the market and there's good players there that we think we can get in January, we, we will always try and do business early. But if not, we'll wait. Sure. Okay. Um, obviously you've had a good run in the Qatar One Cup. How important for you is it as a team to have a good run in the FA Cup also? Yeah, it's uh, f our focus again, as always. Um, there's only so many competitions we can realistically win. This is another one of them. So uh, we want to progress. As I've always already said, we've, we've got a good, strong squad, which the uh, majority of them need to, to play this weekend. And uh, um, any number of them will. Um, give them game time and uh, make sure they're right. Um, we're on the back of a couple of defeats, so the, certainly the the guys that come in possibly will feel that it's a good opportunity for them to impress and start knocking on the door of the, the first team again. So that's what I expect the reaction to be uh, at the weekend. So I'm looking forward to it. These games against lower teams can be oh, yeah, potential yeah. banana skins. Yeah, absolutely, be. absolutely. I mean, we. We had um, games in in the capital one this this year where we've we've been pushed right to the wire. Uh, Luton springs to mind, obviously in the in the early rounds, but uh, we were able to come through it. And um, yeah, we we never underestimate uh, lower league opposition. It's foolhardy to do that. So uh, we'll give them uh, due due respect. Um, hopefully, uh, uh, the quality that we have in the group will be enough to take the game away from. Them. Mark, uh, just two players. I was going to ask about uh, obviously Shay Given might be one that would have. Like to have been in contention for a, for a red game this weekend. How's, how is he with his knee? I think he's progressing. He's, he's settled down. He, he had a setback um, after the first couple of weeks where it uh, wasn't progressing quite the way we, we'd hoped. So um, um, we went and checked and, and lowered his workload, and, and hopefully now he's back on track and uh, it's progressing well. So um, yeah, we're he's not ready obviously for the for this game. So. It's not an option for us, but uh, uh, we're confident that the knee and the, the problem with the knee is resolving itself. So uh, we hopefully he's going to be back quite soon. Uh, the others, Mam, do you? I've seen he's not been in the squad the last couple of games. Is, is there any kind of no, Mam had a slight problem with uh, with his groin, which we checked out. It's it's not something that uh, we feel will really affect him, but it was important for Mam's peace of mind that we got it checked out. So we did this week. Came back. Uh, Reasonably clear. There's something there, but something that we can uh, we can obviously still working with. Um, in terms of Mam himself, he's, he's very much in my thoughts at the weekend. He, he's got an opportunity to come back into the into the side like everybody has, and uh, no doubt he'll he'll give me food for thought for further games coming up. He, he's been a little bit unlucky because I, I've just gone with um, different. Um, Personnel on, on the bench just because I wanted different options if I needed to, to bring people on, and, and that's affected um, Mam's situation. Likes of Josh, who's come into good effect and scored his first goal, and I felt I needed to give him game time. Um, Crouch has come on to the bench as well just to give us an option if we if we go longer later in the games, and, and that was my thinking in terms of picking those two ahead of Mam, really. Um, it's one of those that you have to be careful you don't make too many changes and, uh, and I'm conscious of the fact that I will be making changes but there still needs to be a little bit of continuity in terms of selection as well so um, I'm less inclined to, to think in that regard to, to, uh, to change the goalkeeping position but uh, it may be one that I sleep on and, and change my mind on but as as we, uh, as I say here before, probably that's one that I, I won't be looking to do. You never played against uh, Doncaster either as a manager or as a player, as far as I can remember. Um, you always check these things. You you know better than me. Who, yeah, if I could remember, if you 
yeah. putting a goal against yeah. the night, I probably remember yeah. it turned out that it did happen. So yeah. it was in your stadium as well. Mm -hmm. Is it a bit of a draw to the unknown? Uh, to a certain extent, yeah. I, I don't think. Uh, so there won't be too many players in our, in our squad who, who've played at the new stadium, certainly. So, uh, yes, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere. I think we're taking a big a big contingent of supporters, so, so they'll add to the atmosphere. It would be a big game for Doncaster as well. This game, they've got nothing to lose, so they can have a real go. So we, it's all keyed up to be, to be a really good cup tie. Third round of the cup, they'll be hoping to to get an upset and be uh, be making the headlines at the end of the day. But it's up to us to make sure we we don't allow that. We're we're going to be strong. Uh, we might have different personnel, but we, sh we should be strong. Thanks, folks. Okay. Cheers. No problem.